Welcome to the DeFiStandard.com. And if you are new to crypto, I want to have this conversation with you in mind. In my mind, especially right now, is uh, the person who I used to be, who didn't know anything at all about crypto. Uh, and I was interested in it and then became involved. And since then, I've done lots of study, lots of learning, lots of investing in crypto. Um, and, and it's, it's a field that's challenging to get into. There are so many terms, it's new, it's, uh, not yet accepted by the mainstream. So if you're new to crypto, uh, and you're thinking about coming in, this is a conversation I want to have for you. Or if you've already come in and you're now like interested in the XRP ledger and the Flare network. You don't even have to know those terms, but if you're here and you're interested in that, you're here at the DeFi standard and you're looking at the material and you're finding it complicated. I've been there too. And this is a conversation for you that hopefully will give you some background as you uh, start to dive deeper into the XRP ledger, Flare Network, and the opportunity that it provides for you as someone who um, has invested in, in these tokens, XRP and the, the Spark token or the Flare token. And the third uh, person this is for is if you know a lot about crypto and you want to share it with your friends and there's this barrier of uh, telling people what is happening in the world in terms of this shift from centralized uh, organizations and systems to decentralized and how uh, cryptocurrency is a part of that, how DeFi is a part of that. And so hopefully this will be something that will be useful to you in, um, in sharing with people that you care about, that you want them to know what's become important to you in the field of cryptocurrency. And I'm going to try to make these conversational. I'm not going to worry too much about the time it takes. Maybe it's a Saturday morning and you got a cup of coffee or you're driving somewhere. And just have this conversation. Because one of the problems is that as you get into this, you realize there is just bucket loads of new terms and new concepts to make sense of. And it's important to make sense of those because cryptocurrency is not just one thing. It's many things. It has a history. It has different things that have been emphasized in the past and that we are uh, in the middle of today. And it's an exploding field with new directions that are, that are opening up. And it's important to understand those, especially if you're going to be investing in those uh, with your money and you're going to be hoping to make a return. There's lots of people that have made lots of money in uh, the field of virtual currency, cryptocurrency, DeFi. And there's lots of people that have lost lots of money as well. This is absolutely not financial advice. You won't find anything that's financial advice here at the DeFi standard or in anything I say. But... Gaining the knowledge, doing your own research, your own study, getting your own comfort level up so you're not just following the crowd, but you're making decisions and choices based on um, what makes sense to you, to your own experience of finance and money and what you're seeing uh, that's coming into being here in the field of cryptocurrency. So uh, for myself, I, I really wasn't very interested in crypto. I'd heard of it back in the days when it was, uh, you know, Bitcoin was in the news and it was exploding in value. And before that, it was kind of there and people were talking about it. And I remember that it's like, why would anybody put money into something that's not real? You know, it's just like a video game and its value goes up and down. It's super volatile. Uh, and I, I thought that way for a long time. And uh, then um, it went up to the $20,000 high uh, back in 2017 or 2018, whenever that happened. And, and then it came down and a friend of mine was just uh, on my case all the time about, you need to get into Bitcoin. This is going to be the biggest thing. It's going to go to, you know, blah, blah, blah value. And I knew enough about Bitcoin to know that um, it took a tremendous amount of energy. Like people say the energy of the country of Ireland, in order to just process a number of billions of dollars. And it's like, that doesn't make sense to me. I care a lot about the environment, and there's no way I'm going to do that. Um, you know, they talk about it takes, to process one transaction, it takes about the energy that it takes to operate your, your home for a day. 
to process one transaction move Bitcoin from one place to another. Didn't make sense to me. Um, then, then my friend came one day and, and uh, we were actually at Starbucks and he, he, uh, we were in line there um, and he, he dropped a $10 bill on the ground and he said, you know, Lars, this is, this is as easy as just picking that, that bill up from the ground and putting in your wallet. And uh, it was on that, the interesting thing was he actually leaned down and picked that bill up instead. And I said to him, you know, if this was really working for you, you would have just left that for the next person to pick up, wouldn't you? And we laughed. But it was at that point that he told me about XRP. And XRP transacts with about the energy usage of sending email. So I started to realize, my gosh, there's a bunch of different things that are happening in cryptocurrency. It's not all just Bitcoin. There's a lot of different approaches that are being used um, in cryptocurrency. And I want to talk about some of those in a, just kind of a conversational, relaxed way uh, as we go on here. And I'm going to do some more of these and you can listen to them if they're useful to you. But that was one of my first learnings. Oh my gosh, it's not all just Bitcoin. And why is that important? Because just last week, uh, a friend of mine uh, saw her sitting in a chair outside another coffee shop. And she said to me, you know, my husband is saying we need to get into Bitcoin, but how am I ever going to do that? So she thought you had to buy one entire Bitcoin, which at the time of making this video is over $50,000. And she said, how would we ever like find the money to buy a Bitcoin? And so... That's a good question. And the answer is you don't have to, right? You can just you can just go on to an exchange and you can put in the amount you want and you end up with a percentage of a Bitcoin. But that's not the point of this conversation. It's just that, oh my gosh, there is so much to learn and to figure out. Uh, but, but my friend's conversation with me that day at Starbucks, it was like, Huh, this is interesting. And the, what he told me was that currently the way that we're transferring money between countries um, is really complicated and really expensive and really uncertain. Like it can take five days to move money between one country and another country. And XRP, uh, the XRP ledger, the company Ripple that is uh, creating um, the system to do this promises to do this in about five seconds. And uh, so I used to be an engineer, amongst other things, including a chicken farmer. Um, but like as an engineer, it's like, hmm, like really to anybody, right? That's a big, big, significant uh, change. If you can make something that more, much more efficient, instead of taking five days, it takes five seconds. Well, I was listening. If you can do that and the energy amount of usage that it takes to do a transaction is the same as email, instead of um, like what Bitcoin is using, the entire energy usage of the country of Ireland, well, I was listening. And then if, um, if this work, the XRP ledger, which Ripple is building on, and Ripple, the company, has hundreds of banks that are already signed up and supporting it, well, I'm listening. It turned out that a couple days after my friend told me about this and I was thinking about it, the news came out that Amazon was going to support and partner um, this project of, of uh, that Ripple was up to. And at that point, I said, you know, I can't make those decisions myself. I can't do all the due diligence. But I do trust that these banks and these big corporations, they're doing their due diligence before they invest. And so it was at that point that I started to buy uh, my first XRP. And the more I've learned about it, the more impressed I've become. And um, it's, it's become an emphasis for me in terms of how I think the world is going to um, evolve in terms of finance. And it's made sense for, for me to be involved in that. Now I have other friends who, who uh, have invested in Bitcoin. And they are convinced that that's going to be, you know, the big winner. And to date, they've been way, way smarter than I have about making a return on investment. I have other friends who think everything in cryptocurrency is a Ponzi scheme. 
that they're just trying to suck people into this thing and then they're going to dump it out and all the people who uh, who invented these things will make lots of money and all of us who have invested will lose lots of money. And in fact, that has happened with certain cryptocurrency projects. And there are people who have lost all of their money. So um, you want to try to be as smart as you can, always, right? People have lost all their money by investing in regular businesses, regular stocks, fiat currencies, um, endeavors as well. So it's not that it's so much different here in cryptocurrency that there are great opportunities and there are also risks. So um, I want to be talking about some of those things so that you can have some knowledge about going into this. And I think I want to close out now by... Um, I got another call by somebody who said, what should I buy? And they were at this point, like they were seeing the market go up at the time of this recording here in, uh, you know, end of the first quarter of 2021. The, the cryptocurrency market has been in a really strong uh, bull run for a lot of projects. Of course, not for XRP, because that's my project, but that's another topic. But this person called, and this is the point. They were nervous about missing out. FOMO, fear of missing out. And they were like, what do I need to buy? And I actually don't know the answer to that question. But they were in this place of being nervous, but not knowledgeable. And so I'd like to try to help um, if you're in that position that I used to be in of really not having much knowledge at all, but realizing, you know, I think something's going on here. So I'm going to make some videos, and if uh, Mickey is uh, interested in sharing those, he'll put them out. And a little bit now about uh, the DeFi standard and the work of Mickey B. Fresh. Uh, Mickey's been, uh, got into cryptocurrency, I think it was back in 2018, he says. He tells that story once in a while. But Mickey's gift is uh, research and teaching and sharing that. And so if you come to the DeFiStandard.com or if you go to the video channel, Mickey B. Fresh, or his Patreon group, the Mickey B. Fresh Patreon group, where you can uh, join in the conversation, you're going to find somebody who is an acknowledged leader in this field of explaining XRP and the Flare Network. I'm going to get into that in the most basic possible way. I really like pictures at, uh, in my head for understanding stuff. If I can get that, if I can like feel like I can put my feet on the ground and just have a way to navigate and see my way forward. That's always the most important thing to me, and it's what I'd like to share with you. So I'm just here to uh, be a, uh, a part of explaining this in the simplest, most basic way. And fortunately, if it does capture your attention, your imagination, and you do even decide to invest uh, into XRP or Flare or any of these projects in this, in this realm, um, the work of Mickey B. Fresh and the DeFiStandard.com and those team of people that are supporting this, um, you'll find a lot of good and useful information here. All right, so thanks a lot. I'll be back in a little bit uh, with another one. So go grab some more coffee. And if you want to be listening to these all in a, in a row, that's fine, or just once in a while when you want to come back. Thanks a lot for the time. Bye-bye.